Hey Alexa, show me highlights from the Lakers. Here are the statistics from the Lakers and Nuggets game. That's right, Adobe XD now has voice interaction. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can implement voice into your prototypes. Let's get started. So I went ahead and created a few screens for the Alexa. Uh, these are NFL and NBA statistics and scoreboards. And what we're gonna do is create commands to transition from one screen to the next. Since the design for these screens are now finished, we can now go and switch to uh, the prototype mode and begin leaking screens like we normally would. And when a link is set, you can see that there is a new option under triggers and we can now set it to a voice and we can even give it a command. And for this screen, we're gonna say, Alexa, show me the NBA scores. Now we can move on to the next screen, drag a link over and for the command, we can set this to Alexa, show me highlights from the Lakers. In addition to the voice command, we can also set the transition to auto animate to the next screen. And for our last screen, instead of giving a voice command, we're gonna request for voice playback. And in the trigger menu here, we're gonna set this to time. And for our action, we can set it to speech playback. I'm gonna go ahead and type in a script for Alexa to read off. And it can say, here are the statistics from the Lakers and Nuggets game. So now that we've linked the screens together and added voice interaction, we can start prototyping and see how this all flows together. So here we are on the first screen and we can test out the command we gave it. So I'm going to hold the space bar and say, Alexa, show me the NBA scores. So you can see it recognizes my voice and the command I gave it. And for the next screen, I'm going to again hold down the space bar and say, Alexa, show me highlights from the Lakers. Here are the statistics from the Lakers and Nuggets game. So those are some nice features there and not only obeyed the commands we gave it, but it did the speech playback as well as auto animated uh, from the previous screen. So that's a quick overview for how to add voice interaction to your prototypes. Uh, one thing I also want to mention is that uh, you can download uh, an Amazon Alexa UI kit to help you uh, build for different interfaces uh, such as the Echo Dot, the uh, Echo Show uh, Generation 1, which is what I used here, uh, as well as uh, the second generation Echo Show and even the Fire TV. So again, you can find that in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one.